Alrighty, so new theorem. Let x be the finite product of topological spaces with the product topology. Then an ordered n-tuple x in the product space is an isolated point. of the product space if and only if each of its coordinates is an isolated point and the corresponding Factor space X sub i. It's a proof. Suppose that an ordered n tuple in the product space is an isolated point. Of the product space. Then the singleton containing disordered n tuple is open in the product space. Now, as the ith projection map is an open map. A direct image under the ith projection map of the singleton containing the ordered n tuple is the singleton containing the point x sub i, and this is open in the space x sub i, and hence the point x sub i in the space x sub i is an isolated point. of the factor space x sub i. So conversely, suppose that the point x sub i in the factor space x sub i is an isolated point. Of the factor space x sub i, for every index i, then the singleton containing the point x of i is open in the space x of i for every index i, and so the singleton containing the ordered n tuple x. is the product of open sets and therefore is open in the product space X and hence the ordered n tuple is an isolated point. Of the product space X. Okay, new theorem. Let X be the finite product of topological spaces with the product topology.
if each factor space x of i is second countable, then the product space is second countable. So proof. Suppose that each factor space x sub i is second countable. Then each factor space x sub i has a countable basis which we'll call script b sub i And so the finite product of these bases, which the set of all finite products of the sets B sub i, where B sub i is in the basis, script B sub i, is a countable basis. For the product space x, since a finite product of countable sets is countable. and hence the product space is second countable. So as an exercise, once again, let x be the finite product topological spaces with the product topology. Prove the following. If each factor space is first countable, then the product space is first countable. And if each factor space is separable, then the product space is separable. Okay, so new definition. Let J be an index set and let X be a set. A J tuple of elements in the set X is a function which we'll call X mapping the index set J into the set X. Now for a given index alpha in the indexing set J, the value of the function X at alpha which in normal function 
notation or functional notation. is x of alpha. This value is denoted using subscript notation x sub alpha and is called the alpha if coordinate of the function x we denote the function x mapping j into the set x by x sub alpha for alpha and the indexing set j and we denote the set of all J tuples of elements in the set X by X superscript J So notice x superscript j is the set of all j tuples where the alpha ith coordinate is in the set x and this is the set of all functions, all possible functions x mapping the indexing set j into the set x. Now if the indexing set j is the set of positive integers, then we denote the set of all j tuples of elements in x. by x superscript lowercase omega and if the indexing set j is a subset of the positive integers then we can speak of an ordered j tuple In particular, if the indexing set J is the finite set of consecutive integers from 1 to n, then the J tuple is the ordered n tuple of elements in the set X. Okay, so new definition. Let X be a topological space. A sequence in the space X is a function which we will denote by x, mapping the set of positive integers into the set x. We denote x of n by x sub n and call it the nth term of the sequence.
and we denote the sequence by enclosing the symbol for the nth term in braces. So notice that x superscript lowercase omega is the set of all possible sequences in the space x. So let's look at an example. Let the indexing set J be the set of consecutive integers from 1 to 8. And let the set X be the two-point set consisting of 0 and 1. Then X superscript J is the set of all ordered octets of elements in the set X and there are 2 to the power of 8 or 256 possible ordered octets Of elements in the set X. Now the binary code for the letter capital A is zero one zero 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 one and we can consider this as an ordered octet, in particular, the ordered octet 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is in the set X superscript J. Now this particular ordered octet is the function x mapping the indexing set j into the set x defined by x sub a is equal to 1 if alpha is either 2 or 8 and x sub alpha is equal to 0 otherwise.